So we're going to run over the basics of doing a fence alignment with either the DGL 1010 GM or the EGL 624 GM, whether it be the red that we've got set up there or the green. So as you can see, I've set my tripod up close to my strainer post. We've got a star post there to represent that in this situation. We can adjust our back leg to bring our laser in. And we have put the vertical plummet out on this, on the, on the EGL624 GMs we have that, um, to give our square off point that we're working from. We set our laser roughly in line that the fence we're wanting to align to. So we've got it running roughly aligned there. Power our laser on, and then we'll go and track it in to our receiver that we've got on the star post. But whilst we're looking at that receiver, we'll quickly go over. All three of those lasers come with the millimeter tracking receiver. You get your standard staff bracket, but also that adapter bracket there. So that adapter bracket goes onto the back of the receiver where our staff clamp would go. Then our receiver bracket comes off parallel with the receiver. That allows us now to clamp that onto a star post for vertical tracking. As we've got set up over here. So we've set this up about five meters away from our laser. We can track up to about 50 meters away. That receiver will pick up that laser beam up to 350 meters, forward and reverse. I've put it on a shortened star post to start with. So once we've tracked for alignment, and even if we were at 50 meters, we can still throw the laser above this and not shadow it out and pick up the rest of our fence line. So now we're gonna turn on our receiver, hit the channel button there, confirm we're in channel one. We hear the laser beep. We've got a blue flashing light on the receiver. And now what we're waiting for is that rotating laser to talk to the receiver and actually it will talk it in we can hear that starting there now. So it will take a little bit of time, but it will talk the laser into the receiver and lock off when it's on vertical. So it's showing out there. So when it shows out, it's above the 50 millimeters. It's more than 50 millimeters away. We're now at 17 mil. 16 mil, so being a millimeter tracking receiver, it's telling us how far we are off from that vertical alignment. Coming in, six, seven, four. And once it's within about that four mil range, we hear the receiver flat line. The laser gives us a beep that it's locked on. We're now locked to vertical. So that really difficult task, I'm gonna take that off. That really difficult task of aligning that laser has been done for us. We can now go further beyond and pick up our vertical rotating laser. Doesn't matter which way we hold the receiver, we're still gonna get that center line. And as I said now, we can run 350 meters of fence, get to our last post, set up the laser again, track back on the fence we've done and keep going forward. So we can just keep operating and moving forward. So now we've got that alignment done, we can go ahead and starting from our furthest point and working towards our laser, we can start putting our fence posts in. The idea being that we're not shadowing the laser as we're moving forward. So as you can see, I've gone and put in three posts there, just to give you an idea. And they all just seem to disappear. Fantastic alignment that is.